Hello again, everybody. Tim13 here from Tim13 Gaming. Um, so here is WrestleMania 7, the main event, Hulk Hogan vs. Sergeant Slaughter. Um, there's actually a very funny story behind WrestleMania 7. Well, WWF probably didn't think it was so funny, but I do. So, WrestleMania 7 was scheduled to take place at, uh, I believe it was called Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Coliseum, the fucking key word there. So, Sergeant Slaughter is, you know, the, the American hero for the longest time, and one day he just wakes up and decides, you know what, I kind of like fucking cutting off journalists' heads and blowing up buildings and shit like that, so I like Iraq now. Um, everywhere that Slaughter went, he got death threats, the venues where their shows were being held were getting bomb threats, and about two weeks before WrestleMania, um, the Coliseum called up WWF and was like, look, there is a major security concern with Sergeant Slaughter being here if he's fucking portraying himself as an Iraqi sympathizer. So, you ain't doing WrestleMania here. And they didn't really know what to do on such short notice. So they basically got a sports arena that was right across the street from the Coliseum to hold WrestleMania 7. And... Where the Coliseum's maximum capacity was over 93,000 people, WrestleMania 7 at the Los Angeles Sports Arena managed to draw 16,000 people, 16,000 people. Not quite the success that it could have been. <laughs> and um, that's the only really thing that I need to say about it. You can see the historical objectives here are the big boot and the leg drop. So. I guess I'm controlling Hogan, and America won this war. The following contest <laughs> is scheduled for one fall, and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring, weighing 310 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. The WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter has turned his back on America. Well, Slaughter reinvented himself, wrote a whole new playbook. If Hogan expects to win this match... I think it's kind of funny. It seemed that they were placing a lot of stock in the stock. Ultimate Warrior it after last WrestleMania. They gave him the Intercontinental title. and it World titles at the same time. Hogan will have to dig deep he's obviously not the World Champion anymore, Slaughter. and I don't know if he's even the Intercontinental Champion anymore. wonder if they realized yet that he was fucking insane. Warrior is an idiot. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Ultimate Warrior actually had his name legally changed in like 1997 to Warrior in all capitals. His and his name, his full name is Warrior. And uh his kids have taken on the um the last name only so they they took on the name warrior as their last name and they still have a regular first name boy what a life though <laughs> can't imagine what life would be like if my name were fucking tim warrior that sounds awful look i'm bringing out a fucking american flag he's got an american flag wrapped around his forehead Alright, that, that looks to be as far as the patriotism goes, but... Oh god, this match must have sucked. I believe this was the most recent WrestleMania that... Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, no, I did not... I have not started watching this one. Six was the last one I watched. And... It's gonna be hard to shake that image, man. <laughs> An acceptable match ending is, oops, I missed a leg drop, and now I'm still here on the floor. Oh no, you hit me with a splash. I'm done. <laughs> oh, to be a wrestling fan in 1990. Uh, alright. So I couldn't help but notice, every time I play as Hogan, when I get my signature, I throw him to the ropes and fucking let him come back for the big boot. 
He ran at me with the big boot quite a few times in that last match. So, apparently that's a thing I can do. Holy shit! I'll be up here if you need me. God damn it. Stop it. I don't bump like that, man. Ow! Ah, da -da -da -da. There we go. I got something here. Holy shit, I got some offense. Oh, holy god. Did he even know that I was going to do that? Ow. Oh, yeah. Yep, at the Royal Rumble, Sergeant Slaughter took out Private Slaughter and took a whiz on the flag. Pretty graphic. They show, they showed his little wiener and everything. Just awkward. Oh, what are you doing? Are you hulking off? Ow! The fuck do you like it? Ah, damn it! I'm not gonna go kick for kick with you, Slaughter. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Oh! Here we go. God damn it. Just like fucking Ultimate Warrior, all the taunts are way too long. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty dangerous, wasn't it? It was dangerous considering that the uh, the attendance they got for WrestleMania 7 was pretty much what the average Raw gets nowadays. Oh, that's kinda hurt. Uh, Fucking phone. Shut up. Here we go. God damn it. Stop fucking reversing everything, you douchebag. Ah, fuck. Ow. No. Oh, good. Oh. No, don't let him do anything. What an idiot. What, are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. What do I have to do? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's right. DDT. Here we go. Hulking up. Please don't let him stand up just yet. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. No. Please don't do it. Oh, okay. Uh oh! What? No! Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, I ain't tapping to this. Oil. Ah, oh, stop with the submissions. They're just fucking wearing down my controllers. They're not gonna make you win the match. Here we go. Punch in your head. Bring those to Saddam, brother. Whoa. And move away from the ropes for me. Okay, well that match was fucking pointless. Completely and totally pointless. This has been the most memorable night 
Oh, what a surprise. Hogan was only a three-time world champion at this point, because they never fucking took the title off of him. Whatever they did, he won it back the next fucking night. something. Did I just see a fan holding up a sign something about hating faggots and shit? <laughs> Look at that! That sign said faggots on it! <laughs> oh, see. Oh, look at that. Look, they put red, white, and blue in their WrestleMania logo. Yeah, that was stupid. Well, at least this video was significantly shorter than the last one. Um, so yeah, that'll do it for this one. Uh, tune in tomorrow for WrestleMania 8 and whatever the hell happens there. Thanks for watching.